hello everyone in this video let's discuss about global uh, what are global dispatch queues and what are custom dispatch queues and uh, when to use a global one and when to use a custom one we all know that uh, to achieve concurrency in uh, uh, swift programming language that we need to use the queues uh, it could be a global dispatch queue or a custom dispatch queue where to the queue we uh, provide the task that needs to be executed uh, see a uh, serially or concurrently but there are two types of uh, queues that are provided so we'll discuss here which one to use um, for which purpose so basically global dispatch queues and custom di uh, dispatch queues both are uh, part of gcd uh, great uh, central dispatch framework in ios and mac os for concurrent programming however they differ in their intended use and behavior so if you can see global dispatch queues which we generally write it like uh, dispatch queue dot global so this is how we write so this global dispatch queues um, are system provided concurrent queues uh, these are system provided uh, and custom dispatch queues are uh, uh, developer can create uh, their own uh, uh, queues that is uh, that is why the name is custom dispatch queues whereas the global dispatch queues are provided with the system these are all concurrent queues except uh, the main queue that we use and uh, these are pretty much categorized by a uh, quality of service actually so uh, the, except the main queue which we typically use if there is any asynchronous operation that we are doing like uh, fetching something from the service or processing an image and after that we use this um, main thread uh, main queue to typically update the uh, UI, right? This is where we UI stuff, UI stuff goes here, correct? So this is one thing, and uh, the next set, of course, this is a serial queue. It cannot be a concurrent queue, why? Because you will do the UI stuff, and uh, rest all of uh, global dispatch queues are uh, these are all concurrent queues okay like you do async so you can these are divided based on the quality of the service whether user initiated or user interactive is one thing and uh, next one is background and next one is utility is there and default is there so these are category global dispatch queues apart from main uh, queue which is a serial queue they are uh, uh, divided as per uh, based on the quality of uh, service so these are and also these are available across the application the only identity based on which we can uh, uh, categorize a uh, we can categorize or fetch a global queue is based on the quality of service for example in one screen i have created this queue in the second in the second screen if i need to access the same then i need to say like okay on the utility i am running something let me take the same uh, global queue and here uh, provide task to be done Okay, that is the only way that we can fetch uh, global dispatch queues. It's it's completely based on the. So if I need to summarize, these are system provided and uh, categorized based on the quality of service. Okay. And. Uh, global dispatch queue simply uh, simplify the process of uh, scheduling tasks on the appropriate queue based on their priority and QS, uh, QS quality of service requirements. They are typically accessed using the dispatch queue dot global global method, and uh, it is the user it is having user initiated user initiated queue user interactive interactive queue utility queue and uh, also a background queue okay so pretty much that is what about the global queues so these are system provided and uh, they are categorized based on the qos and except the main queue serial queue rest of all are concurrent queues okay these are all rest all are concurrent queues and we can't create a global serial queue okay these are all concurrent queues okay next coming to custom dispatch queues custom dis dispatch queues as the name suggests these are all uh, 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 queues that created by that are created by the developers to perform tasks asynchronously. These can be either so 
these are only concurrent these are developer developer created so developer defined i would say next these are uh, these can be serial or these can be concurrent custom dispatch queues are useful when you want to organize and manage your own task independently of the system provided queues why because if i if i have to create a custom dispatch queue so how can i create that so let's say let's say it's or let me let custom dispatch queue let's say okay q is equal to dispatch queue here we can provide something called label correct so on this typically we give the bundle identifier in the reverse order or bundle identifier and stuff and uh, here i can provide the quality of service also same like uh, global dispatch queues and also i i can provide and across the application this custom dispatch queues are identified the identified by the label okay i so if i have to segregate the second point is identified based on the based on the label whereas global dispatch queues are identified based on the quality of service only there is, there is no other way, way around so global so let me these are global queues and these are custom queues okay so identify the label and these are also having the quality of service like this and uh, these can be serial or concurrent so by default it is serial until unless you give the attributes as concurrent then only it will become a concurrent so that is the reason these are global or only concurrent and uh, custom dispatch queues can be serial or concurrent so global dispatch queues are system provided by apple's operating system which are managed by gcd uh, global dispatch queues are shared among multiple tasks and be accessed from anywhere in the application based on their quality of service they are useful for offloading tasks to the system managed concurrent queues without creating a separate queue explicitly you don't need to create a separate uh, separate queue why because if multiple developers are working in the application so uh, instead of getting uh, confused with how many queues we are creating based on a user initiated task or something like that it's sometimes better to have uh, better to go for uh, global queues where uh, they are they are identified based on the quality of the service so coming to the custom dispatch queues uh, they are explicitly created by the, uh, created by the developer uh, using the dispatch queue api which is provided by the gcd custom dispatch queues can either be serial or concurrent depending on the developer's requirement it's our requirement whether we, if we need to have tasks uh, one one after another then we will go for the default one serial queue if we want it uh, uh, concurrent if you if you want them to be parallelly running executing we will go for the concurrent queue so that we can define it that is the advantage of custom queues developers have more control over the execution order why because uh, priority and quality of service of task in custom dispatch queues developer can define these are custom dispatch queues are especially useful when need to perform a set of related tasks concurrently or when you want to ensure specific task dependencies or execution sequences so if if we see the availability uh, global dispatch queues are system provided whereas custom dispatch queues are specific to our application quality of services are same for both flexibility coming to the flexibility custom dispatch queues are more fix, flexible as as we have just seen we can create them based on our specific needs specifying whether they should be serial or concurrent which we have just seen global dispatch queues have predefined characteristics why because these are provided by the system uh, based on their uh, quality of service level identify if i need to identifiability coming to the identifiability custom dispatch queues have labels uh, using which that that we as end developer says in making it easy to identify and manage them global dispatch queues are identified by quality of service levels and don't have custom labels only based on the quality of service only we can identify global queues whereas custom queues can be identified by the the label 
so that's basically the differences uh, comes when we are talking about availability quality of service flexibility uh, and ident identifiability so yeah if i uh, generally we use uh, a global uh, dispatch queue uh, generally we use global dispatch queues when we want to perform a simple uh, simple input output operation let us say let us say if I need to download a file from a remote server in the iOS app this is a simple input out, output operation that can be performed asynchronously using a global dispatch queue I do not need to create a queue for that and the simple UI updates uh, see simple UI update generally we use the dispatch queue main correct. So uh, two scenarios global dispatch queues are very useful simple input output operations where if you are downloading something uh, take a global queue and uh, start the downloading and if there are simple UI updates then so coming to uh, if I have to sim, sim for simple uh, output uh, operations we can use this and for simple UI update this global queues are enough you do not need to create custom dispatch queues correct these are enough Next, when coming to uh, custom dispatch queues uh, if you are doing a complex uh, uh, data processing let us say complex data processing something like uh, we, we need to process a large amount of data in our application such as image or video processing in this case we may want to create a custom dispatch queue with a high priority such as uh, giving the quality of service as uh, service as user initiated which is of high priority to ensure that the processing is performed quickly and does not block other tasks you may also want to set a maximum number of concurrent tasks to prevent overloading the system etc so in these cases if it is a complex data processing yes we need to create a custom dispatch queues and also when it is coming to threat safety why because we don't have much control on the global dispatch queues right so when you are more concerned about the threat safety then it is better to create a custom dispatch queue so, like if you need to access shared resources in your app such as a database or file system you should use a custom dispatch queue to ensure threat safety for example you're doing a you're doing a task uh, using the dispatch queues custom uh, using the dispatch queues where you need to access shared resources in the application like a database or a file system then it's better to go for uh, a, a custom dispatch queue instead of a global dispatch queue why because custom dispatch queues you will be having more control you can use a serial queue such as uh, you know, serial queue in the custom dispatch queues without mention, mentioning this um, uh, concurrent attribute and all then it will be become a serial queue so that to ensure that only one task can access the shared resource at a time this prevents data corruption and race conditions that can occur when multiple threats are accessing the same resource simultaneously so these are the scenarios pretty much uh, we can see like uh, what main characteristics of a global dispatch uh, queue and uh, when to use if it is a simple iOS operation simply way updates we can use the global dispatch queue characteristics of uh, custom dispatch queues and uh, when to use it when to use custom uh, dispatch queues like when it is a complex data processing or when you are worried about a thre threat safety that means you will worry about the threat safety when your task is accessing a shared resource that it means a database or could be a file system so, so if, if if you have to summarize the main difference between uh, global queues and custom queues is their origin and purpose global dispatch queues are provided by system are categorized based on the quality of service class while custom dispatch queues are created by developers to manage their own task and can be either serial or concurrent global dispatch queues are system provided concurrent queues with uh, provided the quality of service level while custom dispatch queues are queues that you create yourself allowing more flexibility and customization in terms of concurrency and identification mainly correct so these things typically uh, tell us whether to uh, go for a global dispatch queue or uh, or to or to glo or, or to go for a cu custom dispatch queue so in your uh, application uh, when you want to do some concurrency if you are getting confused about uh, which one which one should i pick up whether whether i need to uh, create my own uh, 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 custom dispatch queue or, or can i go with the global dispatch queue then you consider these items and based on which you pick up one queue okay simple io operation simply go for uh, global 
simple UI update go for a global uh, uh, global main queue uh, if it is having a complex data processing threat safety and you need to identify the queue across the across the application based on something label uh, that means instead of this you can provide something like uh, for example file download so you can file download make file downloads you want to do it in a uh, do it in, in 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 one queue which is a serial queue for example you may why because it's a it's a big file download you're doing it and uh, for example in another uh, in another queue you want to you want to uh, download the images and this can be a concurrent queue correct and across the application and across the application this one you can use uh, based on this label and if you are downloading another file i, I think you can uh, submit that same task to this particular uh, dispatch queue so this is particular basic uh, uh, knowledge uh, that we need to have that we need to have uh, with respect to the queues and uh, based on which uh, um, this knowledge helps you uh, very well in, in picking up the in picking up a dispatch queue uh, for doing for doing concurrency in your applications so that you can if someone asks you why have you taken a global queue why not a custom queue so that you can better explain like uh, boss i am doing simple io operation so i am good with uh, global queue i don't need to create my own queue let system provided uh, queues be there for me okay so i hope this video is useful and it's very important uh, to face interviews also where they can ask like uh, uh, can you give me an example of uh, global queue global dispatch queue where i can do some simple ui operation then your answer should be it's boss i have a main queue this frequently we use and it's a serial queue correct so uh, custom there are uh, and, and, and one more question like there are uh, custom dispatch queues which i have created in my application how can i identify coming to the identifiability boss i can uh, i can identify it based on the label so how can you create a, a serial a serial queue you don't it is the default don't give any attributes how can you create a concurrent uh, custom queue you give the attributes as concurrent then it will become a, a this is actually a concurrent I'm sorry so this is actually a serial queue the default you don't need to mention anything this is a concurrent queue so give the attributes don't give the attributes this will become serial and this will become concrete so th these are typical interview questions that will be asked based on the uh, uh, on the queues i hope this video is very useful for you thank you